Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this electric logo reveal animation is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. You can use it for any kind of logo or text, whatever you want. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these logos. So I have this Batman and the After Effects logo. Now it's completely up to you can use whatever logo you want. So once you're done with this, let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our logo. Let's call this one logo. Rest of things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now let's open up the logo comp and let's quickly drag our logo which we have over here. I'm going to apply fill to see this logo which is actually black right now. So here you go. Now we have this logo. Now just scale this down to whatever you want. Let's make this white. Perfect. So once you're done with this, let's go back to the main comp and let's drag our logo like that. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we are ready to apply a couple of effects. So first I'm going to search for find edges let's drag it onto this now just click on invert so that it will only show the edges now on top of this we are going to apply vegas effect so just search for vegas and let's drag it on to this now you can see that it has created these very nice lines which we can animate using the rotation property but we don't want these many lines i only want one so i'm going to set this to one now instead of over i'm going to set this to transparent so that only these lines are visible Perfect. Once you're done with this, you can play around with the thickness if you want to make this bolder, whatever you want. So let's leave this to two. And over here we have the opacity. So we can just set this to whatever we want. And I'm going to just reduce the midpoint opacity to something like that. So here we have this. Now we can change its color as well. So I'm going to select this. Let's make this one red. Now I'm going to animate it using the rotation property. So in order to do that, let's add a keyframe. Let's press U and I'm going to go to somewhere around three and let's just move it. So let's just set this to negative one. So if I play back, you can see that we have this line moving around the logo. Perfect. Now, if you want, you can play around with the opacity and you can play around with the length as well to make this shorter or larger, however you want. So I think, yeah, this looks fine. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we are ready to create one more copy of it. So we can select this, press Ctrl D. But before that, I don't want this to be a really straight line. I actually want a little bit of details to this. So now to add the details, we can add turbulent displace effect. So let's just drag it over here. Now you can see that we have distorted it. So I don't want this much distortion. So size, I'm going to set this to two. Amount, it's completely up to you. You can just make it however you want so let's just set this to something like 100 now complexity you can just increase this up to add more details like these or you can just leave it to one if you like less details like that so i'm going to leave this to one on this one we can add more details later on so once you're done with this we can select this press ctrl d now i'm going to press u and over here we are going to change its direction so let's select both of these keyframes for rotation and i'm going to just move them away like that and also let's change its color to make it little bit blue so now if i play back you can see that we have these two lines moving across now we can do one more thing we can make these layers 3d and let's select both of these layers and let's press p for position let's add a keyframe so let's move somewhere around three seconds let's add keyframe and in the beginning I am going to just move them to something like negative 800 and let's do the same thing over here as well like that so that we have this very nice scaling down animation as well. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So if you want to support me, make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue. So once you're done with this, we are ready to add more details to this. So first I am going to add a little bit of white line to this. So I'm going to select one of these, press Ctrl D. Let's press U and let's select the rotation keyframe. And first I'm going to change its color to white. Now let's just move it randomly over to this side. Perfect. 
here you can see we have this white line as well now we are ready to add more details to this so i'm going to select one of these layers press ctrl d and on this one we are going to change couple of things so first we don't want any kind of rotation instead we want it to move like randomly so for that we can enable the random face and we can have a keyframe or an expression to change the random seed which we'll do in a second first i want more distortion to this so in order to do that let's go inside the turbulent displays and let's just crank this up quite a bit so here you can see we are able to see this now we can add the expression to the random seed so hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch after that type time times 100 or 50 whatever value you want now you can see that we have some really nice glitches or random moment and if you want you can play around with the scale as well let's add more complexity to this and i think this should be a little bit thicker like that now in order to make this really stand out we can add glow to this so right click new let's add an adjustment layer let's search for glow and let's drag it over here now we are going to play with these properties so first i'm going to increase this like little bit and let's lower it down so that we have very concentrated glow now i'm going to select this press ctrl d and on this one i'm going to actually crank the spread little bit and just increase the intensity now again press ctrl d to do this like that now here you can see we are able to see this perfect now you will notice that this white portion is too much so we can probably play around with it so we can just select and just play around with its length like that so here you can see we have it moving across now let's play around with the amount a little bit so i think that this is too much so we can probably lower this down now we can add a little bit of delay to this so that it's not visible in the beginning and you can see that now we are able to see them at some places we can probably increase the length quite a bit and play around with the mid value like that perfect now we can add a little bit of variation to the size as well something like that so that we have these random glitches moving here and there now if you think that this is too much then again you can play around with the length so i think this is looking fine now once we're done with this we can probably select a couple of these layers and let's press ctrl d so let's select all of these press ctrl d and i'm going to just place them on top of everything let's place this at the bottom and we are going to select these top three and let's have a little bit of delay and also i don't want these to be this much bright so we can play around with the opacity and let's just lower this down and just play around with a couple of these so that these are randomly placed like that i think that these are too bright so we can probably go inside and let's play around with their length and i'm going to just lower it down something like that let's select this and let's lower its length as well so just play around with their opacity and the length till you find something that looks good if you want you can play around with the colors as well so for example we can add a little bit of yellow over here and we can probably play around with the midpoint and the length as well perfect so here you can see we have our logo and we have all of these moving around now if the system becomes really slow then you can probably go to the preview and you can change the resolution from here from full to quarter now it will make the preview of less quality but it will be a little bit faster something like that perfect so here we have our animation now our last step is to add the reveal so for that we can again select the layer and let's select this one press ctrl d and now i'm going to select this and let's place it at the bottom and on this one we are going to remove all of these effects so just simply delete everything like that now you can see we have the logo and we are going to add a linear wipe so let's just drag it over here and just play around with the transition completion something like that let's set this to opposite side so negative 180 or negative 90 there you go now we can start the animation from one let's select this press u and let's go somewhere around here set this to zero 
now you can just move these keyframes to wherever you want so let's just play around so here we have everything and after that we have this coming in now i don't want the glow to be applied after that so we can add a keyframe for the opacity let's press t let's add a keyframe and somewhere around here set this to zero now we can do the same thing with these layers as well so select everything press t let's add opacity keyframe and let's move a couple of frames ahead and just set them to zero perfect if you want you can press alt and the right square bracket to trim these like that so here you can see we have everything now after that we have our logo reveal like that we can probably select this and let's place this at the top perfect so we can add a little bit of background to this so in order to do that right click new let's add a solid just click on ok let's place this at the bottom and let's search for four color gradient and let's drag it over here now for colors we can just add black to these edges and over here we can have a little bit of red and this one we can make it blue like that now play around with their position so let's place one over here let's place one over here like that so here we have this very nice background now if i play back you can see that everything is properly aligned and we have this logo reveal animation now you can change the resolution to full so now if i play back you can see that we have all of these elements going in and after that we have the logo reveal now again if you want more elements then you can just simply select them press ctrl d and just move them to the top and just add a little bit of delay so that we have a bunch of different layers now probably select these and i'm going to increase their opacity to 100 something like that so here you can see now we have a bunch of these arrows or lines moving out something like that but it's completely up to you. you can go with whatever type of look you want and the best thing about this animation is that if you want to change the logo it's very easy all you have to do is just go inside the logo comp and from here just select whatever logo you want just add it and let's just scale this to whatever size we want something like that now if i go back so here you can see now we have replaced our logo and you can see that all the animations are already applied also if you think that your colors are looking too dull then you can change the bits per channel so from here you can hold on the alt key click on this or you can just simply click it and from here you can just select 32 or 16 let's set this to 32 just click on ok now you can see that it will add a little bit of punch to your colors and it will make it pop out more so here you can see we have everything now all the animations are already applied so this is how you can create these kind of energy logo reveal animation in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one